This is the longer version of a video short I did about the ideal amount, what your number, your vitamin D3 number should be on your blood work if you have kidney disease. So that's what we're talking about in this video. If you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe and take a look at our hundreds of other videos about how to support good kidney health. Now, talking about vitamin D3, that very important nutrient, that fat soluble vitamin, that pro hormone that 80% of people in kidney disease are deficient in, and it provides tremendous benefit. When you supplement with it, you get yourself out of the deficiency range. Now, we know generally in the general population that a, a higher amount outside the deficiency range is more beneficial for people. So that cutoff for deficiency being 30, if you're below 30, you're deficient. And you definitely wanna take vitamin D3 to get yourself above that 30. Now, we know more than ever that with kidney disease, if you can get that vitamin D3 level higher, you even get more benefit. You don't want to push it into the 80s, 90s, um, towards the top ranges, because we don't know yet if that's really helpful for kidney disease. But I can confidently say that you want to get your vitamin D3 at least 50. You can bring it even up to 60, 65. So I, I'm saying that 50 to 65 is a really good area for most people. Here's another study that came out showing that. So this came out in October 2022. Higher vitamin D levels correlate with lower PTH in CKD population, lower parathyroid hormone and chronic kidney disease. Here they say 40, okay, on the blood test is where they really saw a benefit. And they reference another study where they saw 58, they reference on the blood test as being able to lower the PTH into a normal range or get close to normal range. So with this research, with so much more that's been out there in the last couple of years on kidney disease, you want to get your D3 level higher. Don't settle for like, oh, I'm 32, 33, 35, which I see a lot of and people think they're fine. Getting it a little higher is much better. You might have to take a little bit more vitamin D3, or you will have to take more. You can take upwards of 5,000 IUs. I really like it with K2. That's preferred. But get higher levels. You're just going to get more benefit. A lot more good things happen. Everything from... Uh, preserving kidney function to supporting normal kidney function to uh, mortality. It's all improved when you get those D3 levels better. So thanks for watching. Get your D3 in that better range and do everything you can to support your kidney health. Bye.